Welcome to Donna and Friends, and, and guess who's back in the house? Emily and the gang. So, Emily, wow, you're in town again. That's right. So, you brought a group, and you're tearing the town up. Tell us about where the groups come, come, came from and what you guys been doing. Well, we are from Wilmington, Delaware, and we have just been living the Cushing, Oklahoma life, going to Walmart, getting kids from daycare, going down to uh, the pond, walking around the house, but then we've also gone to the zoo and the aquarium and all the other stuff. So you brought a group last year, mm -hmm. your first time to do it, and tell me how it is that you make it available for these kids to get to leave and have some fun in another state. To be honest, they do all the work. So they have to write a speech and then they have to present it to people. And then they get up on stage in front of a lot of people and they present that speech and then they have to have good behavior in camp and then they help raise the money. So these guys have just done an excellent job and that's why they get to be here on this trip. Wow, excellent. Well, congratulations, kids. So tell me, how much money does it take you to pull something like this off? We had to raise how about $3,300. Wow. 3000 3300 yeah. <laughs> And plane tickets for 2600 and then we used the extra for the zoo, the aquarium. Right. You can do a few things, right? Right. So how long in advance did you start when you planned this? How long does it take you to get it together? Well, we probably should have started a lot earlier. <laughs> but we you like started, Yeah, we like, we like to do it real quick. It gets our blood moving gets us going. But we started in the first of March, I think. I wow. That. So so we pulled it together rather quickly. All our supporters from Cushing, I mean, a lot of the people from the church, First Assembly of God, helped support it. Um, a lot of family and friends helped support it, so we're very thankful. So. Well, speaking of that now, didn't you attend Easter Sunday? We did. All these guys went to church. Didn't you guys? Yes. <laughs> Sure did. And um, we got to, they did the Easter egg hunt there and they got to, they didn't announce, or Mr. Tim and Mr. McLean introduced himself and spoke a little bit, so we had a lot of fun. Yeah, I heard it was a pretty good service. Your dad was uh, a little, he was bragging on you. I know, I know. Those dads, those dads. And for anyone that might not know, Emily's dad is Mike Kennedy. Uh, we kind of call the voice here at RDMG oh. TV. The voice. Yes, and now I'm fishing sports in general, I might say. Well, I tell you what we should do. We'll just go around and we're going to start right here. We're going to have the kids all introduce themselves and how old they are. But you so want to look right there. Yes. Okay. Figured? Yeah. My name is I'm eight years old. My name's Aurora, and I'm ten years old. My name's Dominic, and I'm ten years old. My name's Sabrina and I'm 11 years old. Hi, my name is Mr. McLean. I'm 20 years old. My name is Larry and I'm 11 years old. My name is Deanna and I'm 10 years old. My name is Tim and I'm 24 years old. Okay, now, having said that, and I'm so glad you guys are here, let's talk to the guys on the end. And I know you were here last year, but we'll go ahead and talk a little bit about your background a little bit. Okay. I'm from, I grew up in Wilmington, Delaware. Um, not in the city of suburbs, but um, I came to Urban Promise about a little bit over a year ago now. So, um, kind of just happened and wasn't really planning on coming to Urban Promise, but um, just the way things turned out, I got to meet some cool kids, got to Yes, got a chance to work with Emily and I've worked with her for over a year as well, so it's been awesome. So. Now, I think last time you were here, mm -hmm. you were finishing up some studies? Yeah, so we're still finishing them. Still, still, still on that track? Still, yeah. Get we're still, still working on that. But. And then let's turn to our. Now, you're new to this thing. Yes, um, How'd you get involved in this? <laughs> Actually, I'm from Malawi, Africa. And I volunteered with Urban, Urban Promise Malawi for six years. I felt cold when I was in sophomore in Malawi uh, when I heard about Urban Promise. And here am I in, uh, with the team from Wilmington, Daria, cool kids, with the leadership of Emily, just, yeah, 
having this group with me, saving uh, together with Emily. Yeah. Now, Emily, how long a time now has it been that you've been at Urban Promise? I've been there for four years now. How does it feel at being at this point in your journey at Urban Promise versus when you first came there? Are you feeling a little more acclimated? Do you feel like this is something you'll still be at for quite a while? Yeah, I mean, I definitely believe that God's called me there and that He just wants me to be there, and I don't feel like He is asking me to leave or anything like that. So He's really used a lot of the kids and the staff to transform my life. So it's been awesome, and I think He, I think I'm going to be there for a little bit longer. So. Well, I think it's great, although you're, you're pretty far away, mm -hmm. but I think it's great to see what what a wonderful thing that you're involved in. It's so cool that you can bring it home with you. I know, I love bringing these guys home. Yeah. So, kids, uh, I'll, I'll ask you this week, what's been the most fun thing you've done? We'll have you go first. The most fun thing that I did was I well, we went to um, the zoo. I mean, the aquarium. The aquarium was fun. Okay, let's go here next. The most fun thing I did was go to the aquarium. Oh, you like the aquarium. All right, and then we'll we'll go to you. Mm -hmm. If you'll turn around and, and tell them that are watching. The best thing I did was I went to Old Oregon College. I'm with the college. All right. Uh, my most favorite thing that I did was go to the ORU college too. Sleep. Sleep? Late. Oh, the lake. I was going to say, I hope that wouldn't sleep, would you? <laughs> of course, sleep is good. I like sleep. And then last, we'll hear from you. Uh, my favorite thing was playing with the dogs. Oh, okay. He okay. you loves know, Tucker. Tucker and Plank. Yeah. All right, all right. So let's talk about the plane ride. Was it pretty nice? No. No? no. <laughs> what happened on the plane ride? He wants to tell. Okay. Uh, we'll take you right there. Okay. You can look at the camera and look there. there. And, and the people up there. It was good, but like when we was landing, it looked scary. Okay. Do, you, you want to comment on the plane? Our stomachs, people's stomachs was dragging, and when we went up, it kind of got scary. All right. Ears popping. Okay. And um, you when we went on a plane, when they went down, it was like they were going down so fast, it felt like their stomach just popped up, and it was so scary. Why don't you guys uh, tell her what you did whenever the plane went down? <gasps> All the noise you made whenever it went down. Scream! Scream! Everybody scream! What did you sound like? Oh, okay. No, he didn't. He, he got the plane. Oh, I was going to say, you let, you let him drive by himself yeah. down and he met everyone. Yeah, he biked. He biked all the way from Delaware. He was pretty tired. He just got here yesterday. Oh, well, you know, it takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of time. <laughs> so, kids, what's your favorite part of attending Urban Promises? <laughs> all right, we're going to let you go first. Come in here to Oklahoma. <laughs> All right. You want to say the truth is? Um, having fun here. Okay. Hanging out with some of family. So she's asking no, about I, being yeah, urban promise. Yeah, urban promise. Can't promise. What your favorite yeah. thing yeah. is? Spending time with some family. Oh, I'm sad. Spending time wrestling with your tongue. Okay. Impressive. <laughs> Spending time with the staff and the shoot leaders. So I'll ask you guys on a normal routine day, and I'll start with you. What do you What do you usually do at Urban Roots? What's the routine? Oh, uh, first of all, Urban Roots. It's a haircut. <laughs> I don't know what, but sorry, we're laughing because I said Urban Roots instead of Urban Promise. So I'll let me correct that. That's, that's a haircut. Yeah, here in town. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Right, I usually uh, go to the office at night. So what happens at the office is uh, usually camp prep, preparation for camp, meetings, it can be a meeting with Emily or the Indian director. So at 12, we go back home or go somewhere else to eat. Then resume camp preps at 1, up to 2. 
you have to be prepared if you are teaching Bible or, or if I'm going to teach life skills. So come place, then you get into camp at 2 p.m. and you are in camp at 6 p.m. Wow. And your your routine for a normal day? Uh, pretty much similar. Yeah, I do. I teach Bible once a week. McLean teaches life school once a week. So um, other than that, I'm just you know we got to do support letters. Um, McLean he's, he's a student too, so he's he's usually studying during the day. But we we also have community events that we do um, throughout the week. So community lunches. And so we're prepping for that. And, you know, a lot of things we do together. There's Bible always studies. something yeah. happening, in other words. It's probably a pretty busy schedule, yeah. I would think, especially with school going on mm -hmm. as well. Well, we've got about a minute left. Emily, anything you want to say specifically about Urban Promise? Uh, I mean, definitely our vision is to be a community of Christ, servant leaders, transformation, seeking a full life, and that's what I've received, and I... I believe that that's what these guys have received too. So it's been a blessing. Yeah. So. Well, I tell you what, it's a blessing to have all of you in here, and I'm I'm excited, and I hope that we kind of make this an annual event for you. That you just that's just part of the deal. That's like, oh, it's yeah. it's time to go to the Brick House Studios as well. Now we're two woo, two, so. I know you guys. You know the zoo was cool and all, but now we're gonna get. <laughs> to Brick House Studio. Well, I tell you what, there's nothing more fun than getting to visit with kids that come from another state, have another perspective, and then the guys there that you got help and not too shabby either. Well, you're watching Don and Friends, so don't touch the mouse. We'll be back.